Hello YouTubers, welcome back to Yorkshire Media One. I am Mark. Hi, I'm Jen. And together we are your host, your presenters, whatever you want us to be. And yes, we are better and cheaper than the BBC. Well, that's the cat fridge, so don't dish it. So, what are we talking about today? Well, we're talking about an incident what happened with Jen. And we're going to be talking a lot more about NHS waiting times and things like that. But firstly, have you ever, have you experienced any trouble on YouTube where you can't get into your comments or you can't comment on any other channel? I know Jen has. I did the other day for a good few hours. And um, things like that. I I had people coming to me. Why have you? Why have I blocked them? I hadn't. I haven't blocked anybody. Um, so if you've experienced the same as what Jen has. Um, about not getting into comments and that and not being able to comment on any other YouTube channel then please let us know it, there must have been a glitch with YouTube and things like that right so what are we talking well there were an incident on last well it's last Wednesday last wasn't it? Wednesday last Wednesday uh, 13 13th wasn't it that 13 yeah yeah so last Wednesday the 13th of November we gone down. We gone down. It were a pretty normal day. We gone down to. We had our dentist appointments, didn't we? We got the morning. dentist appointment, and then we went down to to get the electric, didn't we? Yeah. And things like that, and then we decided not to go into South Island, but to come back home so we could do some resting. <laughs> some what what we're doing now, videoing and things like that, and and, and resting because of that long journey of what we've done. A few days before. Sunday, you know, but. As we're walking up, we were just walking and talking, weren't we? Yeah. And then the next thing, Jen fell, tripped, and bang, she she landed more on the right hand side. And my face, as and you the, can see. And her face, as you can see, her nose and things like that. So I had to quickly get her up because there were no one else around, were there? No, it was just a nice, just, quiet day. It was weird. <laughs> it was absolutely weird because we could go out there now. And there's probably loads and, of people uh, around. And there's people around. But this particular time, when Jen fell and tripped, fell mm. and scraped her nose and did everything else, um, there was nobody around, was there? No one around. So at all. I got her up, I took her back we to where home. we were. We came home. We, we came home. I cleaned her up as best as I could. Because my nose was dripping. And then, with blood. And, and then she was asking, Are we going to hospital? And I says, As a precaution, that's what we have. Yeah, yes. Mm. So it's an head injury. So I took, you know, we went to hospital. And obviously and we like went that. we went by bus because that probably would have worked out quicker than the ambulance anyway. And plus, so we went to hospital and we got into A and E. Lovely set of security guards, complete idiots. They they don't know what they're doing. Um, try to argue um, at that because they want the gent to sit down. And I, I I said I'll stand at back. Of, oh no, you won't. You'll stay in queue. Well, my anxiety had gone straight up, and and that. But we got in. Um, she told them, oh yeah, you definitely need um, and then she got told by by the person behind the desk, we should have run for an ambulance, shouldn't we? Mm. That's what they said and, and, and they were te telling us but you know, us two, that we were too nice so that so we went we went into triage, triage saw her pretty quickly actually and then we just had to sit around and wait, now my argument, you know, you know NHS waiting times is long it really is, because by the time we got out of that hospital, we've been in there, what, four, four hours? hours? We were four in there hours. for exactly four hours before we left to come home. Now, four hours, and it was a, a suspected head injury. It, it was an head injury. Now, four hours under that, it, it, it's, it, it, the waiting times are too long. Mm. Really too long on that one. Don't you yeah, agree? Definitely. And that. and But she... She got seen, she got x-rayed and things like that. And then we got told to, yeah, you can go home. So four hours later, we were on our way home. Mm -hmm. And that, and then we got told before we left hospital that fracture clinic are being contact. Now, this is another argument I've got. And I'm pretty pissed off with it, in, in my own opinion. Now, we got told fracture clinic were getting in contact with Jen, didn't they? Yeah. And they didn't, did they? We not, had to, not yet, no. Well, you had to ring them. Today. I've them today. Um, she's been referred to Anne Therapy. But they could have messaged her and told her this. And that, and, and also now, 
you took the the strappings off a little thing. It'll still hurt, it'll still hurt, but you have to do exercise. They're more. saying that the fracture is not really a fracture at the moment for some. No, reason. it's just wearing tear. Mm. That's what they're saying. It's all but soft obviously tissue. The hand therapy will give me Wait, what? exercises basically to do with my hands. Well, I'll show you exercises what you but should I'm be doing. But I'm doing all this be... anyway because obviously it's aching because it's been strapped up for. Well, you should be doing, like I say, you should be doing that kind of exercise. With your little finger and things like that. Because I've had, I, I've had it myself. I've had a, a hand injuries. Okay. I, I had to do it when I was in hospital in 2013 when I was, this was potted up and I had to keep wiggling them. Uh, yeah, it's just in case, you know, there's no tendon damage. You know, it's, it's just soft tissue. That's yeah, all. soft tissue damage on my knee it's, as well. It, it, yeah, it's like your knee. That's soft tissue damage as well. But, yeah, so getting told from fracture clinic that, no. You don't need to go into a fracture clinic. You have to wait for hand therapies. They say another couple of weeks, didn't they? They said that could take a couple of weeks. <coughs> so, in meanwhile, she's had to self-certify a seat. For a few days off work. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and that's it, basically. But it's annoying. The NHS is it. Well, it's in disarray, isn't it? It, it really is. Mm. I mean, when we were there, it was busy, wasn't it? It was really it, busy. Even really when it busy. seemed to clear down, within five minutes it was busy again. In fact, I, I don't think Jen saw it, but I did. There were a, like a trolley with a patient on it, waiting, just waiting to whatever. You know, just put to the side. Mm. And he says, oh, trolleys. And there were patients on, on these trolleys. Yeah, waiting to be seen. I mean, it is getting bad. Um, so, government need to do something about this NHS waiting time. Every government says they're going to do... Conservatives never did anything about it. In fact, they made it worse. But as the NHS does good work... And the doctor was good, wasn't he? Yeah, he, he was, was really nice. Young doctor. And that. So, there you go. That's our experience with A&E at Northwick Park. Norfolk Park Hospital. Yeah, Norfolk Park. I didn't want to go see it. I, took I really it for, didn't. I took this guy for a day out. What, what can you say? And he was so ungrateful, like, that wasn't a day out. It's not a day he, out. He got, what a he got to meet new people. Really? Got to see the local sites. The local Numpty. hospital. Numpty. Yeah, I don't want to see the local hospital, thank you very much. Well, you did I, do. <laughs> yeah, through you, falling, you numpty. <laughs> Well, you know where it is I don't know if I don't. I didn't need to know where it was. Why do I need to know where it is? In case you need it. I don't need it. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, the thing is, how she tripped. I mean, she was just walking, boom, gone. But we don't. Even, yeah, she did trip over something. It must have been fresh air. I honestly don't know because I can't fully remember. It happened so quick. Yeah, it did. It, it did happen quick. One minute she's excited me talking. Next thing, I, I I'm trying to catch her and I. I, I missed it. I just missed grabbing it. So, yeah. And thing is, this is how bad she... This is how numpty is. She didn't even grab hold of me, and that's what she should have done. I would have brought him down. No, <laughs> you might not have done. You don't know, because you never grabbed hold of me. It's a spur yeah. of the moment thing. When something happens so quick, you just yeah, don't no. sort of think it just happened so so quick next it thing does. i know i was on the floor it and does. my face i'm surprised my glasses didn't break they've got a couple of little scratches here well, and here just take them off a minute just go closer to the camera you see you can I've, see where it all see see that bit there there was like a big hole the, there. the lump there where the glasses sit it's the glasses what's caused that but uh, and, then, to, and then the greys in... Excuse the front. white stuff, it's cream, because I've got cream on it to help dry the scab out quicker. So, where she had her glasses, that gouged into her skin. So, it's her glasses what caused a lot of damage. And but, luckily, no glass got broken or all like that. And exactly. Like I said, there's just a little tiny scratch here and here. Yeah, you that's all there is. Just the tiniest, yeah, but, a little scratch on the her. But, yeah, four hours. I mean, a lot of people say, oh, well, that's not worth... Well, it's worth me doing a video on, you know, because it's for a, an head injury. And it, and it was an head injury because of a nose. I mean, they went through all the head injury things. Yeah, I did, I had to do all the tests, yeah, like, she had to do all the, the light, tests. did my finger thing. And and this doctor, I, I give him his due, he, he kept saying, I do apologise for the length of work. You shouldn't have been waiting that long. I, and we shouldn't have been. It should have been quicker. A lot quicker than what it is. They asked me if I blacked out in anything If like you've that. been vomiting and thinking, no. 
But no, I was wide awake. And then, yeah, it's the last thing what I wanted to do. But there, there was no way I was going to let Jen go to hospital on her own. It's as simple as that. So it, my idea to go to the hospital, but I didn't really want to see it. <laughs> Not for four hours. And there's no water. Their water machine's broken yeah. and they haven't fixed it, yet the only th machine they have is one of the ones that you pay for drinks and yeah. they're probably really expensive. Well, a bottle of pop from that machine in hospital is like two or three. Yeah, it's, it's about Over two. Over two quid. pound probably, yeah, yeah. 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 And they're only the 500 mil bottles. Yeah, they're not exactly. like overly big. So, yeah, I mean, yes, Northwick Park Hospital does see people as quick as possible, but with head injuries, it should be that bit quicker. It really should. I mean, Jen had to get a, a, a letter of attendance, didn't you? For, for my for work, a, just to cover work. me with work for a few days. No, just for that one day, wasn't it, really? Yeah, because I was due back now, at work. today you're self-certified for a week, aren't for you? A couple of, yeah, I've got a few more days off to sort of heal a little bit more before I go back to work. But you, but she can go back to work. But just not. But she's overruling me because I don't want her to go back to work and she needs to heal. I know, but I can't afford not to go back to it. Not with the way things are. It would have been different if we'd been in a care crash. You obviously, I wouldn't have had no choice then. But when there's bills to be paid and food to be bought, cost of living and all that lot, I can't afford to lose a few days of work. Because obviously... Yeah, statutory sick pay. It's you, bad. You don't, get full, you don't get your full wages at all. It's exactly. half of your wages. So. so there you go. So, like I say, it's an happy, it, it, it's an happy conclusion. And just think, well, right? Well, no. I go back to work, and I'm probably only at work about a week, a week and a half, and I've got another week off anyway. Yeah, I know. Holiday, another week planned off, so yeah, I, I could do light duties for that couple of weeks I'm at work. Well. Week, week and a half. Well, it's going to have to be light duties for yeah, a while. Yeah, I've already told them that. I, anyway. I mean, you can't bend with that. Not properly at the no. moment, no. So it is what it is. But if you're wondering why she was strapped up, because we thought this were fractured. Yeah. Now they're saying it's not, it's just wear and tear and soft tissue damage. So I've got to do the hand therapy. Yeah. So if we but unstrap it, we know it's going to hurt, but it she is just hurting, keeps but exercising. It's aching, and she there is a little bruise on the knuckle, so obviously yeah. it's healing. Well, all your she... swellings come out now. She said. It would bruise. Well, there has been a bruise on my knuckles for the last couple of days here. Yeah. So, Only a light bruise, but so it's been that, there. That's for hell hit, really. And um, if you're wondering why we're doing this video, it, it's just to, uh, well, it's just to basically complain about uh, NHS waiting times and how, and how bad they are. Um, especially with somebody who's, who's got head injuries, mm. uh, which she, she did at the time. I, I, mean, I, 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 I mean, I mean, if you've seen her, Christ. It was a lot worse than what it is now. The knee looked the worst. Yeah, it was the hand that they said was the worst. Because yeah. I ended up having it. But when up. doctor had a look at yeah, yo, know, yo, checking down here, and she and she nearly screamed out in pain. That's when they decided to do the X-ray on the knee and the hand. But I didn't know he was going to do the X-ray on the hand. I no, thought it was just the knee. knee. But the knee apparently it's nothing broken or anything. It's just a really it's, bad again soft, soft tissue, tissue damage. damage, and it was proper swollen on this side on my. Side of the money. So that's what happened to us a week ago. Well, it, well, when this gets posted, um, this will be a week, just over a week. Yeah, yeah, it'll be just over a week. Yeah, because mm. I'm obviously I'm doing this on the Monday. <clears throat> five days after the event. Yeah, five days after the event, I, I'm filming this. I would, I would have put it up on Monday, but I'm not going. I'm going to do it for Thursday. Then I, I've got Friday and Saturday to do. Mm -hmm. So there you go. So if you're expecting any any a, a, any videos like you did previously, that's not going to happen. No, they were only Wakefield. Yeah. I, I, I filmed that much. I, I filled that time gapping, yeah. literally. So we're back to us. Three, three or four videos a week. So, and we are back to normal-ish. <laughs> I suppose so. Whatever you, whatever yeah. normal is. So, like I say, NHS waiting times, they, they do need to improve a hell of a lot better, especially on head injuries and emergencies as well, because you're getting people being rushed in and, and they're being made to wait as well when they come through ambulance and things like that. Mm -hmm. So, 
Apart from that, the NHS does good work. Oh, I'm yeah, not, definitely. I'm not slagging it off. I'm just saying there could improvements need to be made. Mm. A lot of them. The don't staff they? we dealt with, like the triage yeah, oh, yeah. nurse, the they doctor, were receptionists, and the first lady we saw at the front desk who signed us yeah. in, they were lovely, very friendly, yeah. very helpful, lovely people. They really it, were. And even they say to us, yeah, well, yeah, even they say improvements need to be made. And, and that's the staff themselves. Mm. So, yeah. So, there you go. So, if you like this, at least you know now what's happened to Jen. And apart from that, I know we didn't have to do a video on it, but we thought we'd do. Yeah, it's interesting how long we had to wait. Four hours. We were in there for four hours. A nice day out. No, it wasn't a nice, nice day, day out. Nice day out for the numpty. But they, no, you, you're numpty. Not to. He's telling me not to do it again. Yeah, I've got no plans to do it again. <laughs> do I really want to fall and hurt myself again? No. I don't want to go back to hospital for another four hours. It might be longer <laughs> next time, babe. You might get to see more people. I don't, no. <laughs> <laughs> really? So now you know what's happened to Jen. And that. So there you go. So, yeah, four hours in A&E with a knee, a, a little finger, and, and, and she face planted. She literally yeah, I literally it. tried to stop my face from hitting the ground, but it, yeah. the pavement weren't having it. No. The pavement wanted she, to kiss my nose. So she fell flat on. More on the right side as well. Yeah, because I got a little bit of a bruise on my other knee, but it's nothing compared to... What you got here. And a little bruise on my yeah. other hand, but nothing compared to my right side. So, like I say. So, like I say. That's it. That's all. All it is, really. And, yeah, it, it's just to basically say thank you to Northwick Park Hospital staff. They did really well under the circumstances of how, how busy they was as well. Definitely. But four hours is a long way for, it. like I say, an head injury. It, it's a long way, it really is. But there were people waiting there a lot longer for more serious. And there were people going into hospital and they didn't need to be there. there yeah, were that's one what guy, I mean. They do have a lot of There were one guy who went, he, he went to desk. And I could hear him, oh, I've got cold. There's nothing they can do. You don't go to hospital for cold. You go to your pharmacy or your doctor for that. Mm -hmm. And that's what they say. So, if you've liked this video, please give us a thumbs up. Please like. Please. Please subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell icon it all. That will let you know when I'm uploading another video. And also... Please share the video to your friends and your family on other social media like X, Facebook, Instagram. And also use the comment section below this video to let us know what you think about the NHS. Is the NHS underfunded? I know it is. It is definitely underfunded. Even the staff at Norfolk Park Hospital say improvements need to be made. So there you go. So if you liked it, all there is for to say now is bye for... Now, catch you all later. Bye. Bye.